Compared to the traditional Lenovo ThinkPad P16 Generation 1, the sleek variant that we have today, creatively named P16S Generation 1, comes with much less power-hungry Alder Lake P-Series chips. But should you get it? Other than that, you're getting a classic ThinkPad, so plenty of materials and combinations, depending on which color you choose. The black version has a mix of plastic, glass, and carbon fibers for the lid, as well as plastic for the lid. The gray model comes with an aluminum lid and a plastic base. Still, there isn't much difference between the two. On the base, there's a lot of stuff, like the full-sized spill-resistant backlit keyboard, which offers an amazing typing experience, as well as the Mylar-covered touchpad. It could use a bit more responsiveness, as well as some more area. They are complemented by a track point with physical buttons, as well as a power button with a fingerprint reader. Going to the sides, the left houses a LAN port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.0B connector, one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1, and a 3.5mm audio jack. On the back, there's just a SIM card slot. Lastly, on the right, we find the last USB Type-A port, and the smart card reader. Before we get to the display, the top bezel keeps either an HD or a full HD webcam, along with an optional IR sensor for facial recognition. Now for the main show, we have a 16 to 10 full HD IPS panel, but there are other options available with higher resolution and better colors. It comes with 332 nits at peak brightness, but only 51% sRGB coverage, making it not suitable for professional work with colors. You can still make use of our display profiles, especially if you're looking at lots of text or code, which is where our office work profile can help a lot, as it makes the characters appear more clear. The front firing speaker setup delivers quality audio, while also showing no major deviations across the entire frequency range. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. While we said that the laptop isn't as powerful as its bigger sibling, the Alder Lake P-Series CPUs can still deliver plenty of performance. We tested the 12-core Intel Core i5-1240P which does a fine job, but we've seen it do more inside other laptops. On the GPU end, the Quadro T550 running at 30 watts is certainly better than the Intel iGPU solution, however, it's still not that powerful. The performance is closely tied to the cooling, as the laptop's two heat pipes and one fan do a good, but not perfect job. The CPU maintains a 52 watts TDP in the first few seconds of the test while maintaining 30 watts for more than 15 minutes. During the test, the GPU also reaches its 30 watts limit but runs at rather low clock speeds. Even comfort is affected a bit, as the single fan spins like a Beyblade, leading to more noise. The base temperature isn't bad, at 40 degrees Celsius. The P16S isn't an efficiency champ as well, with the 52.5 watt hours battery pack lasting for only 7 hours and 15 minutes of web browsing, or 6 hours and 9 minutes of video playback. Lastly, let's find out what we're working with on the inside. Removing the back panel is relatively easy, but we're still gonna leave our teardown video linked in the description. Inside, there's up to 8GB of soldered DDR4 memory, as well as one SODM slot, for a possible total of 40GB. In terms of storage, there's one M.2 slot for generation for SSDs. It feels like Lenovo dropped the ball with the ThinkPad P16S Generation 1, as the high price isn't backed up properly. There are other business machines out there with the same quality and feature set, which deliver more performance for less, like the Dell Latitude 155531, so if it were up to us, we wouldn't rush to buy the ThinkPad P16S Generation 1 just yet. That shouldn't stop you from checking out our in-depth review where you'll see more info about it and its competitors.